Hi, this is Clay King again, and uh, that's uh, Max Miller's 9XA that we're using. And um, we're trying something else out. We seem to have a lot of uh, uh, transient power or spikes or backward EMF, all kinds of weird things going on. And we really don't have a good scope to play with this. So uh, this little thing intrigued me the other day. Uh, it's a, a little ferrite core. And this is on the power supply that we are feeding the board with. So that's plugged into the board. But I was just intrigued what this was. And I was actually looking up uh, e-cores on Wikipedia and kind of studying cores when I came across this. And it's called like a bead core. And it's kind of like a little round ferrite core that the cord passes through. And it can either pass through once straight or you can wrap it around. And it kind of makes an inductor and a ferrite core. And it's supposed to kind of take high frequency noise out of the line and clean up the line. And I was like, hey, that's kind of cool. That's kind of sort of what we need to do. And we had a handful of little ones. So I kind of sprinkled them all over the place. So this is, um, this is the negative wire coming off of the uh, bridge rectifier and running to the cell. And so I put one of them on here. And then this is the, the white wire right here. Is, um, is is the one with the blocking diode on it, and the light's kind of going the wrong way here, so you're going to have a hard time seeing this. But anyways, the white wire runs around and comes down, and down here in the middle of the line, I just stuck one of these ferrite cores in. And I sprinkled them all over the place. I put one on the white line going into the cell, and it's really dirty now, it's really ugly looking. And, um, and I put one kind of going onto the negative side. So I just put them all over the place. I took the cord apart coming from the um, Variac and I had a larger one and I put one there kind of just like the feed line going into our circuit board and that did seem to help. Um, it did clean up the power a little bit. Um, it sounded smoother. The inductor didn't seem to hammer quite as much. Um, I really don't know what it's doing for production. I really need a accurate, sensitive flow meter to really tell us what we're doing for production now because we can't tell by just watching bubbles. But that's all we have. Um, so I have all these ferrite cores sprinkled all over the lines. And it did handle uh, quite a bit more power before it was um, kicking out. I have one of these line filters that I bought at You Do It Electronics in uh, Newton Needham. And that was like 200 bucks. And when I, uh, we have all the cords plugged into the back, and that's supposed to filter out all kinds of, um, you know, spikes and whatnot. And um, we didn't, uh, um, and it still didn't really, it, it helped, but we were still getting issues. So I had taken a uh, jacuzzi motor apart, and I had stripped out some uh, big capacitors, and this is the, run capacitor it's a 70 uf capacitor and so we figured we put that in series with the uh, mainline power coming into the uh, bridge rectifier and definitely between everything between all the little cores and the cap it definitely takes a lot more voltage the only problem is we don't know if by taking out all the spikes that we wiped out uh, the resonance and everything that goes with it so i can turn it on and we can watch the cell and right now, that's at 140 volts. Um, and you're not going to really see production for too long because there isn't a lot of water in there. And uh, the height of the water isn't too high. So I can't, and it clouds up pretty quickly. So it's going to be really hard. So we can't really tell what we're doing for production right now because the cell just fills so fast. It looks like there's a little bit less production with all of this so I'm not quite sure how much the filtering has kind of knocked out the, the pulses that we're actually trying to use so after seeing all this something I can say is uh, Max has a uh, uh, you know a power supply circuit board with a whole bunch of caps on it and now I really kind of see the value in having that clean power that's filtered to deliver to all this apparatus because that's really going to help uh, with all this electricity kind of going in every single different direction. You need all those caps to clean up all the power. This Variac, we took it apart, doesn't have a single capacitor in it. 
So, um, and the, the line filter, I don't really know what it has inside. Uh, and it is only filtering at the end of the cords. It's not really helping up here. But these bead, um, bead ferrite cores, or little round cores, they are definitely something that I think is uh, going to be helpful because you can place them on any wire anywhere and they will take out, um, you know, really high spiky power that um, you're not using. So I, I think it here and there sprinkled in the right appropriate spots, and I don't really know where those are, um, they will have a positive effect on cleaning up some of the power to drive this so that we get the effects that we're looking for. Um, anyways, just my thoughts. Uh, thanks for watching, Clay King.